All right, guys, we have made it to Penang. And uh, we just got dropped off down here in Georgetown. We got some uh, artwork on the wall that we're going to go check out. We originally came down, there's a magic type shop, and our grandkids are really into magic now. But uh, we're really close to Chu Jetty and, uh, and this uh, graffiti on the wall. Check it out. It's not graffiti. But uh, Penang is pretty famous for these murals on the wall. There's a looks like a like an antique shop or a bunch of shops here. Here, ma, right here. These are really these are really famous. Now I know there's more street art around. We found this little uh, like alleyway, bunch of little shops through here. Wow, they're cool. So basically, we're just going to, wow, nice uh, boutique shop. We're just going to walk around and uh, see what we can explore. This is our actual first day here. So, looks like a restaurant. We kind of got a late start. It was raining pretty good earlier this morning, but uh, it's all good. The rain is still coming down, but it's just a sprinkle, so that's good. Wow, these places are neat. I really like the high ceilings. Looks like a restaurant in here or a cafe or something like that. But I think Chu Jetty is just across the street here. So let's try to cross the street without getting killed here. I've noticed that the pedestrians really don't have the right of way and the drivers really don't care if you're in the middle of the street. You just have to wing it. Yeah. But we made it across. Ah, there's one right there. So let's figure out where Chu Jetty is. Gas station. If you're run, wondering what gas is, looks like uh, 205, 235, and this premium 215. Ring it per liter. Shell gas station. Got some street food here. be a hot job there. Okay. We're on the uh, intersection of Ping Kong Weld and Gat Lemur something. But this looks like the entrance to Chu Jetty. And the first thing we see here is a temple. Oh, look at this. It's always cool when you come to a new city. It's just sensory overload with so much things to see. There's a lot of tourists out today.
All right, guys. We have found it. Welcome to Chu Jetty. Again, there's a lot of people out here. But it's all good. Looks like uh, visiting hours are 9 to 9. And uh, we have a lot of tourist shops with some uh, sweets, ice cream, clothing. And it's just interesting because people still live out here and it's just a, basically a village on top of the water. And you got motorbikes coming through here. And one of our tours in Kuala Lumpur, I think the guy said something like uh, the population of Muslims, and I think second was Chinese. There's a lot of Chinese influence here in uh, Penang for sure. Mary Lou's favorite durian. Yeah. Oh, we need some water. This looks like a oh, snow ice. You can see how the houses are built up. Walking here. It's a nice door. Cute little houses doing their laundry. I don't know if I'd like people looking in all every day. There are, I think, three jetties that you can go out on, and the, uh, this one is the most popular. And uh, You know, the others might not be as touristy. There's a lot of shops here. But I definitely wouldn't want people looking into my home. Yeah. A lot of these people are uh, fishermen out here. We've seen on uh, other people's YouTubes. So these must be some of the fishing boats. You can see some of the houses over here on the stilts better. You can kind of see over here how the houses are built up on the cement columns and then they got five gallon buckets probably filled with cement to help uh, help it from sagging over time.
We got these cool Mario shirts over here. Wonder how much that would go for on eBay. I don't think they're vintage, but uh, they got a vintage tag. The name of the store, Nana Vintage. Oh, they even got Chippendale. All sorts of cool stuff. And then take a look at this. Maybe another closer view of the buckets over time. And then there's a nice temple over there. Or pagoda. I don't know what they call them over here. I always get the two confused. I think the pagodas are more Chinese. And then the temples are more Chinese Buddhist. I'm not sure. Let me get my phone so you can see it. Yeah. Temple across the water there. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see the five gallon buckets helping support to support the, the houses. Looks like we might be coming to the end here. I never know which side to walk in Asia, you know? I think in America, we normally walk on the right and and then uh, just like cars, you know? Hey. Oh, here come some monks. Looks like uh, maybe they did a tour of the bay, maybe? Oh, there's a temple out here. Hi. <laughs> Always nice, those monks. Love them. So yeah, this is the uh, end of the road here. You can see the bridge over here, barely. This weather worked out for us. Let me grab my camera again because this Osmo action's not picking up what I'd like you to see. There's a skinny portion of this uh, dock out here I want to walk out on. All the fishing boats, you can see what kind of looks like crab nets. Maybe it's catching prawn, I'm not sure. Uh, feels a little uh, unsteady out here. Pretty cool, Chu Jetty here in Penang. Be down here. Come check it out. This is a happy place. <laughs> what? This is a happy place. Happy place. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so it does look like they uh, they do tours out on the water. So just come to the end of Chewy uh, Chew Jetty, and you can book a tour right here. We got this map 
at the airport when we first came in. Mary Lou has done her note taking all <laughs> over the place and now we're trying to figure out where we are. I think we're right here too. Yeah, that's number four. So let's see where and then we're going here. Magic yeah. World. Yeah. But let's see if there are other places that's closer. We're trying to take advantage of not raining right now. So. Yeah, yeah. So the sign here says that uh, in the late 19th century, so residents on these jetties formed with tight knit community has existed for more than a hundred years. So this is over a hundred years old. And just like that, we are back to where we started. I don't know, that was a good half hour or so exploring that. All right, let's go see what else we can find. I think we're just gonna go straight. There's something on our map that we wanted to see. So let's go that way, see what we can find. We can. You want to see what's in there? There looks like there might be some food or something. So we just came across the street from the Chu Jetty. And uh, we really haven't eaten this morning. Our new hotel doesn't have any uh, kitchen or anything. We brought some, bought some bread last night at the grocery store. But it uh, looks like there might be something in here we, we can pick up. So it looks like they got the fried chicken, a bunch of Chinese dishes. Got to find Mary Lou here. And this is just right across the street from uh, Chu Jetty. I'm sure it gets busy in the, uh, in the evening. I think this is called the Jetty Food Court. Or do you want food, food? No. Mm. Group noodle. I just want it fast because I want to go to it. Okay. Hey, food court. We found a mix you. First time we had this was in uh, Vietnam. And Mary Lou's happy. She's getting a brown sugar pure milk tea. Five dollars and fifty ringgit. Five ringgit fifty cents. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, so now we're uh, getting into more of the street art. And uh, from what we've seen online, there's a lot of queue waiting. Here's some over here. 
great for your Instagram. Follow us on Instagram at Lumpy Life. I'll get a shot of this. I think this is pretty cool. My daughter would really like this one. And my daughter-in-law and my grandkids. So it's a very user-friendly city to walk around. And we're just looking for the street art. I bet you it's around there. Take a look at these buildings. These were all built by the British back in the day. And they've uh, all been turned into like little shops and stuff. Very cool. And this is the street with all the artwork, including this one here. It is now the call to prayer. There's a mosque. I don't know if you can see it, it's like right down there. plan today but it turned out great we saw a bunch of street art that we wanted to see well it was raining earlier yeah then... so we were gonna go to like an indoor indoor place magic world magic world yeah. we'll do that another day yeah but uh didn't rain on us so we went to the Chu jetty <laughs> yeah and then uh we looked around at all the street art which is really cool yeah and now shout out to mark Wins. yeah shout out to mark Wins. uh he ate here uh tandoori chicken and uh, we love tandoori chicken as we found out in kuala lumpur mark Wins ate here in his vlog on penang let me uh, show you where we're at here there's a mosque right across the street here and this place is called Capitan. But it's uh, pretty famous. So uh, we're looking forward to it. This is uh, Little India. We haven't been to India. But uh, I guess it's like a Chinatown. I think we should go explore it before we go eat. We're just excited that uh, we came here and saw this restaurant. Then this might not even be a mosque. It might be uh, an India temple. You know, we, we definitely want to go to India, but I don't think it's going to happen this trip. But... Uh, this is the best we got right now. Pretty interesting. Just recently found and out about tandoori. And this naan, naan is so good. Look at what they got here. Oh, they got tandoori chicken here too. <laughs> this guy's learned just learning how to drive here. <laughs> All the colors, very colorful.
<laughs> wow, look at that. Let's see what they got over here. Hello, can I, is this Indian uh, street yeah. snacks? Yeah. Okay, I'll try the chicken. So it's called a samosa chicken. How many? One, two. Just one. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's try this out. I love Indian food. Here, let's eat it. <laughs> so it's like a little pastry and I think it has like chicken and maybe potatoes or something inside. Let's check it. Eat it. First. Oh me? Yes of course. Have the it's honor. Really hot. <laughs> it is. Mm. You can see the chicken right inside there. Yeah. All I'm getting is uh pastry right now. Mm. Looks good. Yeah. You can taste like spices with the chicken. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It's mm. good, right? Yeah, I want, I want some more of this. It's flavorful. It's very. It's packed with flavor. Mm. So, digging deeper into this, tastes like uh, curry. So we're still walking around Little India. Very cool. Yeah. So I just walked by the shop and you can really smell the spices. Oh, it smells so good. What do we got here? Turmeric, poppy seed, black powder, all sorts of spices. Most of you know I come from Oregon and Hillsboro to be specific, Hillsboro, Oregon. And there was a lot of uh, Indians working for Intel there and other tech companies. Look at this little car. And I always, uh, you know, wondered what their country was all about. And it's kind of cool that we get to see this. We're back at Capitan to get some uh, chicken tandoori that was recommended by Mark Wien. So we're going to go in and get some food 
Oh, there's a table right there. All right, guys, we got our tandoori chicken. And we're at Capitan here in Penang. Look at this chicken. The naan. There's uh, cheese naan and then garlic, garlic cheese naan. Uh, it's been, been quite the day and we're pretty happy right now. Let's eat.